life's too short, right? And video editing is so time consuming. So today, a short time saving video. Three quick tips to speed up your editing in DaVinci Resolve 17. Hey, were you checking your YouTube playback speed settings? <laughs> Okay, so I'm ready for a brand new week, brand new video. It's so good to see you all again, guys. And I'm gonna keep it short today for all of you living the fast life. And if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing too because it might save you some time in the future and I'd also really appreciate it. Okay, now editing in DaVinci Resolve 17 or any other editing program for that matter, it's not that I hate it, it's part of the creative process, but it usually takes so long. And time is money, right? So I'm always looking for for some tips and tricks to speed things up. And these are my three favorite ones that I use for pretty much every video. And you can also use them in Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro, no problem. Ripple Trim and Ripple Delete. Two shortcuts that are stored in my muscle memory. First, Ripple Delete. When you select the clip and then hit delete, there's a gap. So you'll have to move all the clips to the left. Now, when you select the clip and hit shift delete, it will automatically close the gap and save you a few seconds. That's okay, but nothing compared to the ripple trim. So when you go to trim and then ripple, you see here start to playhead and end to playhead and the two shortcuts. You can customize that shortcut if you want, but what it does basically is make a cut and a ripple delete. So if I play a clip and I want to make a cut here, for example, I could make a cut and then select this part of the clip and then hit delete and then move all the clips to the left. But if I use the ripple trim shortcut, it does all of that at once. So it makes a cut and deletes a part of the clip and moves all the other clips to the left so that there's no gap. It saves you like 5 or 10 seconds every time, but I literally use that shortcut hundreds of times per project. And a really fun way to use this shortcut is to cut your clips to the music. So let's say you have some clips that you want to use, a music track underneath, just play it and then hit that shortcut on the beat. And you'll end up with some cool cuts on the beat. It's usually not perfect right away, but it's a great way to get a good rough cut really fast. So ripple trim and ripple delete, learn how to use them. Guys, adjustment clips are amazing and I'm actually surprised by how little people know about them. You can use them for a bunch of different things to really speed things up. Let me give you a few examples. First example, let's say you've made all your cuts, added your B-roll, your video is pretty much done and now you want to do some color grading. You could select the clip, do your color grade and then copy that color grade to all the other clips or you can apply that color grade to a group of clips to speed it up. And that might work for some of you for some projects but for most of my videos I use an adjustment clip. So go to the effects library, drop an adjustment clip on top of your clips select that adjustment clip and then go to the color tab and start color grading. So you're color grading in that adjustment clip now. Let's just do a quick color grade here, maybe film convert nitrate, there. And now every clip underneath that adjustment clip will have that color grade. And once you've applied your overall grade to all your clips, you can still make adjustments to each clip separately. You know, select this clip and then take out some blue or select this one and adjust the white balance. You can also adjust the opacity of the adjustment clip and super useful, you can also deactivate the layer with the adjustment clip. Because sometimes, especially when I'm editing 4K footage and it's a heavy color grade, a complicated color grade, it slows down the playback and everything gets kind of laggy. And then when I add some fusion effects, you know, some special effects to my clips, then it gets even worse. So when I use an adjustment clip for special effects and color grading, I can turn it on and off and just start editing again without slowing down my computer. And you can use these adjustment clips for everything. Do you want to zoom in a few clips? Add an adjustment clip and zoom in. Drag it over all the clips you want zoomed in and done. And then you can use Alt or Option plus click to copy the clip. Guys, seriously, adjustment clips for everything. Okay, and then finally, LUTs. Now, LUTs, it's like it has become a bad word or something these days. But LUTs and presets are super useful and I use them all the time to speed up my editing. For example, these talking head videos in my studio all have the same color grades, but also the same audio preset. And I have presets like that for everything. 
I have presets for my Sony a7S III footage, I have presets for my Canon M50 footage, I have audio presets for inside, for outside. So presets are not bad at all. Same goes for LUTs. If you make a lot of talking head videos in the same lighting, create your own custom LUT so that you can apply it every time you make a talking head video. And it's super simple. Once you've got your color grade, right click here, generate LUT and choose 33. You could also go for 65, but all that does is increase file size. And for most things, 33 is just fine. And you're done. Same for audio. Do all of your adjustments on one of the tracks in the Fairlight tab. See, I have all these effects and adjustments on the A1 track, for example. Then go to Fairlight, Presets, select track A1 and save as new global track preset. And that's it. Now you can apply that preset in the same window every time you make a new video. Okay, and that's it for today, guys. I know there are a lot more tips and tricks you can use to speed things up, but these are three basic ones that you can use as a beginner as well as an advanced editor. And they're super useful. So I hope you like them. I hope they will save you a lot of time. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Ow, crack my pinky.